Life made a proof for Prime Minister Terence O'Neill to replace Lord Brookborough in 1963, especially after his meeting with Taoiseach Sean Lamas. Unfortunately, for people living in the North West, the reverse was to happen. Stormont legislated. Stormont legislated for the new second city was to be Craig Avon and that all the infrastructure and new motorways were to be in the east. The second university was to go to Coleraine, the second rail link from Derry to Belfast and the link to Dublin were ended and the shipping link to Glasgow was stopped. The unemployment situation was over 20% and nearly 10% of people were living with their families in one room or in this and huts in Springtown. Fortunately, this city has always had very generous voluntary helpers who were willing to give of their time. I'm greatly privileged to be here. I'm greatly flattered. And I, I was part of this community in the, during the days of civil rights movement, which is well, very important. I don't think I've ever been a movement like that, civil rights movement. And the turnout today? I'm impressed, very impressed, very flattered that people have taken time to, to see John and I here at the District Bureau and congratulations to the Bob Clay Davis. They've done a tremendous job. Yeah, all right. uh, this mural uh, is here as a, as a homage to Ivan Cooper and to John Hume and uh, for their pursuit of very basic human and civil rights which is very uh, topical and current at the minute. But nonetheless, it's a very important mural because it, uh, it really is the foundation to the 12 murals that we've created, which tells a very human story, a cathartic experience, we hope. And uh, at the end...